What's going on, YouTube? James here. Welcome back to Games Talks Movie, where today I am going to be talking about a TV show this time. Um, I usually don't do this that often. I'm not a big TV show guy. I have reviewed TV shows in the past that I do end up liking. And they all usually sort sort of um a series uh that um are pretty short and not that long easy watches kids and this is what this series is it's miss marvel it's a new Di it's a new it's the newest disney plus series that just ended last week um and today i'm going to be talking about all six episodes that are in this series. Now, um, yeah, this series is basically about a, um, teenage girl named Kamala, um, Kamala Khan, and it's basically about her learning about her powers, uh, and then eventually learning how her powers came to be. So it's a very, um, kind of Spider-Man-esque, um, learning how to use your powers, um, kind of a superhero story that you've seen before, but, um, uh, this series starts out, um, with a very creative outlook on all of that storyline, um, which I, and so much more, and I'm gonna be talking about today. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification after you subscribe. So then you can be notified every time I upload a new video like this one. Also, in the comment section down below, if you have any um, movies, TV shows that you think um, I should watch, watch and um, give you my opinion if it is worth watching or not. Uh, tell me, because I would love to tell you my opinion if a movie is worth watching or not. Also, tell me in the comment section down below your thoughts on the Miss Marvel series. Um, is it not something that interests you? Um, or do you not have any high hopes going into it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? All of that. Tell me in the comment section down below. So, yes, Miss Marvel is a series, um, that, like I said, hit Disney Plus, Marvel, and this series kind of is mixed for me. On one hand, it starts out with this cool comics book come to life style, um, where it has, um, like, uh, you can see the, um, like, text messaging, the, um, writing of all the characters up in the air on the walls, like a comic book, and it really helps tell the story in a more interesting way, and, um, at the beginning of the series, it kind of, um, has the tone, the, like, first three episodes has this tone where, um, you, it's basically a teen show, and it's gonna be, uh, Kamala Khan, um, researching, um, and discovering how to use her powers, because she's only a teenager, so, um, so, um, she, um, just is learning how to use her powers, and I thought that was a cool concept, especially with the style that they went for. Just a sweet series of her learning how to fight and stuff. Um, one thing I also love about this series, before we get to what I don't like about this series, is um, the fight scenes are very well done. Um, it doesn't feel really choppy. The fight scenes, um, some of the villains, um, the villain in here is not, like, one of the typical MCU villains. She's more of a F FBI kind of, uh, villains, uh, thing. 
um, who were trying to track down Kamala. But um, the fight scenes are very done and very well cool. And um, and um, because uh, I think they established the character of Kamala so well and our family, I uh, want nothing bad to happen now. And the fight scenes that I have uh, feel like not like on or um, non threatening, um, which I really do enjoy. Um, also, Kamala's powers are kind of are really cool. She can stretch her arms. Um, she can see things um, that could happen in the past. Um, I won't, ex um, obviously I won't spoil what those things are, but things yet to come that she should know. Um, she gets real visions of, um, why. You'll need to watch the series to find out. Um, uh, but, um, so yeah, that's basically what I like about this series, is the times that it just spends time with these characters, and, um, is all learning how to use the powers, and, um, just learning about these characters, and, um, cause, um, um, it's a six episode series, so what could you possibly do, um, to make it so, um, you have this whole, like, adventure, and there's, like, a bunch of layers on layers, uh, you can't do that in a uh, six-episode series. However, they do try to do that. Say, so, the first two episodes, or three, two or three episodes, um, they... Establish the characters very well. Um, I like the relationships um, that Kamala has, especially with her dad and uh, her mom. Um, so they establish that well. But then they go right into this globe trotting adventure, and in like three episodes, they try to establish where the powers come from. Um, who these, um, who, um, why this bangle, she has a bangle, um, that, um, has a, that, this whole backstory, why that exists, um, and, um, also trying to still manage the relationships between all the characters and the villain, vi villains of the story. So I think it's just a lot and it tries to cram it all in one series and I think um it uh loses its magic. Um not to say that there's still some heart in this series. Um whoever played Kamala Khan in this, I forgot to mention is really good. Um, I forgot, um, who played her. I'll put it right here if I think about it. Um, but um, I don't know why I forgot her name, but she did a really good job. Now, um, yeah, it doesn't lose its heart. The acting is still really good, especially from her. Um, you've got, um, but the style that it goes through, uh, through the first, like, two or three episodes with the comic booky style, it kind of loses it, uh, because, um, we're trying to go for this uh, kind of more serious, big MCU, uh, style, which, if you do like that, then that's fine, but it's very crammy because it tries, crammy, it, it tries to, um, fit it all in like three episodes um or less and then um you still get some nice moments between the characters and a satisfying ending but I think because it loses its magic it is not like the best TV show I thought it was gonna be I thought 
I was gonna love this show. It's gonna be one of my favorite TV shows I've seen in a, lo in a long time. But it's not because it just tries to cram way too much in it. Uh, I think that was the adventure that it was going on uh, was for a season two. Maybe have Kamala learn how to do her powers um, and just learn the basics in season one and then discover um, the origins of her powers and um, anything else that um, extra that they needed to in season two. But other than that, um, she is, I don't know if this is a spoiler, I don't think it is. But she is going to be in the, um, mi the, um, the, what's called Captain Marvel sequel, the Marvels, um, and because I love Kamala so much, I'm not a big MCU fan, I forgot to mention, um, because even though I'm not a big, um, uh, MCU fan, I am a fan of this character, they did do that well, and, um, just make me love this character and um oh um or um yeah they just make me love this character and how they um built her like um her character development made me very interested in her and the rest of the family so because I like her so much I am gonna watch the um, Marvel's for sure. Maybe we'll need to see when the trailer comes out. But, um, in the meantime, guys, I want you guys, like I said in the comment section down below, to tell me what you guys think of Miss Marvel. Not just what I think, so I gotta, uh, pass it on to you guys. What do you guys think? Did you not like Miss Marvel? Do you think it was way too much like I do? All of that, tell me in the comment section down below. Um, also, subscribe to my channel, because if you do, you can hit a bell and be notified every time I upload a new video like this one. Uh, write in the comment section down below movies you want me to review, so then I can tell you my opinion if a movie is worth watching or not. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! I